G'day everyone, I'm in Outback Australia. So in about two weeks I'm returning to New Zealand and I figured now's the best time for me to rent a car and head out to the rural areas of Victoria. Alright, so the first stop on my itinerary is Pakapanyal Tank Museum. So for a long time I've been a fan of Command and Conquer, Battlefield and Call of Duty, that sort of video games. And I've always been interested in tanks. Um, in New Zealand there's one tank museum out in Waiuru and unfortunately they've got two tanks, a Centurion and a Sherman. Now I'm not sure what the New Zealand military actually has but all I know is they've got LAV-25s. So this tank museum out here in Victoria has a big selection of tanks. So look at the images, I've seen one of those old British Mark 1s from World War 1 and also probably the most interesting tank for me the Swedish uh, Stridsvagen 103 so it's a fixed cannon tank the way that the drivers have to aim is by using a hydraulic system to lift the front of the tank which also serves in maneuverability around um, difficult terrain so I'm looking forward to actually seeing a few um, military vehicles since they're so rare in New Zealand Now um, I actually went to Pakapanyal and unfortunately the army museum was closed right now Saturday morning, who would have thought? So that was a big letdown um, I'm just going to head up to Echuca and see what's out there Take a gander at the Murray River, see if I can catch any cod So I just went to the Echuca Holden Museum. It was pretty good, cost about $10 to get in. There are quite a few cars there, all Holden, all the way from the early um, FJ sort of things, um, all the way up to um, almost present day vehicles. There was a Monaro GTO sitting at the back in the corner. Um, I had a look at the Yarra River, which is the border between New South Wales and Victoria. There was a nice steamboat rolling across the uh, river. Um, it was incredibly hot for me being from New Zealand anything close to 30 degrees is too hot and today it was cloudy but it's still about 40 degrees outside now um, something just caught my attention which is give me a second I think it's a locust some sort of grasshopper I saw it flying outside and it just landed on the car so let's take a look if it doesn't fly away uh. Alright, so I'm not just a car person, as I said before, I actually quite like tanks and military things. I'm also a wildlife person, so I was really hoping to see a lot more snakes and lizards and more kangaroos out here. I have seen kangaroos when I was looking at buying a bike. How'd you go fly? Um, other than that, I haven't really seen much wildlife here except birds, cockatoos, um, swamp hens, so that was a, another expectation that wasn't met which was that I'd go out here and see a few like snakes and lizards and things for anyone who's wondering New Zealand has almost no reptiles there are garden skinks, tuatara and maybe some amphibians but there's no snakes unless you go to the zoo so a few months ago I actually found some good driving roads somewhere around central Victoria now I've decided to go back and push this car a little bit and see how it performs around the same twisting bends that I last took my motorbike on.
Okay, so this Hyundai isn't very interesting. Just a run of a mill base model i30 automatic hatchback. Not much else I can say. It's got cruise control. Originally, I was supposed to rent an MG MG3. Of course, I would have preferred an MG BGT over it, but I'm just going for the cheapest option. Don't really need much. So, um, yeah, not much I can say. Hopefully. In this upcoming year, 2021, I'll be buying a project car and we'll be actually doing some fun stuff for once. So let's keep our fingers crossed.